All right, sometimes the best thing to do is save the bottom piece for last because it's maybe the most uh, complicated one to figure out. So I'm gonna teach you a trick to help you design it perfectly to fit with the other pieces uh, without doing a single measurement. So here we go. So notice uh, I've got my part studio where I created one of those walls and then I put four of them together and I'm in the assembly. So I'm gonna to go to my tools and select mate connector, top left. And I'm gonna zoom in, press and hold, and I'm just gonna grab this surface at the bottom, press and hold again, and go grab this corner. Okay, and then hit the check mark. And I've just put a mate connector on the bottom. Now I'm gonna to go to my tools and select create part studio in, con in context on the bottom right. <clears throat> And I have to select, press and hold, go get that mate connector, it turns orange, hit the check mark. Now notice everything is grayed out, okay? I'm actually gonna turn off the visibility of the planes and select my sketch tool. It says what plane or surface you wanna sketch on. I'm gonna zoom in, press and hold, and go grab that bottom surface. Any bottom surface will do. So now as you can see, I'm on I'm sketching on a plane that is uh, flush with the bottom of my shape. Okay. And what I'm gonna do is select the use tool on the left, USE. And what this does is it allows me to use geometry that already exists. Looks like I accidentally um, selected that whole purple side. I didn't mean to do that. Let's try that again. Turn on the use tool. Okay. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you over here on my sketch pad. What I'm trying to do is sketch the following. Okay, I want to start on the inside and then right here, I'm going to zoom in, right here we want to actually go to the outside edge. Okay, then we'll come back in, go along the inside, and then we'll pop back out. So anytime we have those little uh, vertical openings, we wanna go out and then come back in, then go back out and come back in, etc., etc. Now, you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but as we extrude in this direction, right, uh, these parts will get filled in. So that's the idea. We're gonna extrude upwards to fill in those spaces, and that will create the bottom. So let's go back to on shape. Okay, and we're in the assembly. We have to select again, so we're going to create parts, create studio, sorry, part studio in context, all right? And that origin is that little mate connector, check. I'm going to uh, turn off those planes. I'll zoom in. This is a repeat, sorry. And now I'm going to get the use tool. And now I'm just going to press and hold and I'm going to highlight the edges. Now here I'm popping out. Now this is the real tricky one. You have to go grab the line that's not on the plane and it'll project onto the plane. 
Then we head back in. Now we pop out. That one projects up. Okay, so I'm just pressing and holding and I'm tracing my way around the shape. And now I'm on the outside, so I need this outer edge, pops up, now I come back in. Now this, this is a little, you know, laborious, but it is way faster than dimensioning all the little ins and outs. Well, faster for me anyway, to each his own. So if you'd rather dimension it, that's fine. But this is a way to get a perfect fit without having to do a single dimension because we've already dimensioned all the sidewalls. I'm almost done. Whoops. I wonder if I can undo, I'm gonna go back a little bit. Okay, I don't wanna, I accidentally selected an entire face and, oh, my use tool's not on. I, I don't want that, I would just want, I just want the edges. I think if you accidentally select a, a face, you're gonna get some weird result. All right, I made it all the way back around. I do wanna show that, you know, there is some overlap at the, at the edges. Uh, and normally you'd have to cut away this little extra piece right here. But uh, in this, when using the use tool, it's not a problem. So I'm gonna hit the check mark. Notice it's kind of grayed in the center. That means I've got a complete loop. I'm ready to extrude. I select that center face that I just sketched, pops out. I'm gonna change the direction and it's going in and I'm going to change the depth to 125 thousandths, which is an eighth of an inch. Hit the check mark and we should see it's filling in the space perfectly. So I'm gonna hit my drop down, insert and go to assembly. It says, what do you wanna insert? I click on the thing I just created and hit the check mark. And there you go, it fills it in, perfect fit.